So today I'm going to teach you how to make a table out of a pallet. There's pallet. The pallet. There's my trusty Draper Venom VSD 500. I like to call it the Venom Tooth. It's got very nice sharp teeth. Look at that. Or the Venom 2000. <laughs> 2000, you get it? It's a pun. Play on words. You'll need a pen, tape measure, Wix Finest. This is a 16 foot. I did have a 10 foot one, but it, it didn't quite do the job if you get what I mean. I've already measured it out, but what I did, I had to do this one handed. Just measured that there like that. And I measured this side like that. Oh, give it a little bit more. See, it, it pretty much matches. You can have a square table, but I'm making mine slightly rectangular because I'm sticking this bad boy pizza over on there. Got one that in the uh, Black Friday deals. Ended up being 200 pounds. I measure up. I already made one cut. Ah, just going to cut along there. Make sure it's all straight and that. There we are. Job. Now, some people use power tools, but I prefer to make my stuff with a little bit of elbow grease. Blood, toil, tears and sweat, as did Winston Churchill say. So I didn't teach you this yesterday, but I'm going to teach you how to let the saw do all the work. So you want to go from here to here. When you make from here to here, when you make your first incision, you want to do three backstrokes. Three. Sorry, I need to pronounce my words correctly. Three backstrokes. One, two, three. And that will give it some momentum to get it going. take these ones off. So, one, two, three. And then we go. Use the whole saw. See that? Ah! That's what you call venom tooth. Now I'm just using bodge job methods, but you could actually use something, I don't know, called a table. Might help. Oh. And you might want to have some PPE, maybe some hand coverings called gloves and goggle protectors. There we are. If I've been at work all day, I'm a little bit exasperated. So this is a hard bit. Now I'm going to cut through the 2B Maybe the 2B2, 2B1.5, or the 2B4. So you're using the whole saw. That's called pinching, it pinches, so you gotta make sure you. And that is gonna be the top that I'm gonna rest. My pizza oven on onion. See how I've measured that up? Lovely, just put that on top of there. I mean, it's almost perfect, but that's not the point, is it? I've seen most of these how-to videos on YouTube and you understand that they spent a lot of time to try and make the perfect product. I'm just bodging it together in five minutes. If you want a quick job done, then follow my videos. Second bit done. I'm gonna show you now Here's what. The top. Here's the bottom. Look at that. Now to make it a table, we've got to put some legs. And I got these 7.5 B7.5s. I don't know how to say that, but I'm gonna cut them in half and they'll be so made. I'm measuring it to be exactly half. And we've got what's that? 157 50 centimeters. So that's six seventy-five. Oh seven B seven. That's what that meant. There, seven B seven B times one B yeah. So this is where you need the pen again. And I'm gonna show you a little trick with the saw. See that? That's a right angle. So if you want the straightest line possible, you I'm just gonna flip it around and show you. Put that on the edge there. My uncle Steve taught me this, and look at that. That right angle will give you the straightest of lines that you need. I'll get on the 75. 
and oh, 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 you just get your pen, just draw down that line, and that will be the straightest cut. Don't forget that bit there. Oh, oh. just want you to watch this. This venom tooth, I'll put my foot on there. Got these little croc things from Wilkinson's. Look how good they are. I've been fucking dirty in all my, sorry language, been dirty in all my training for years. But, look at that. Like butter. Nice brew butter. Beautiful. It's a little bit hard on that other stuff because it's hard wood. Yeah. It's probably a mahogany, you know, really expensive palette, but this is soft wood. I don't know what it's called. I'm going to give it a go. It's definitely not pine. We'll call it a birch. That'll do. This birch here is coming right through. Oh, look at that. And if you want a really nice fine, go slow at the end if you want it to fine, but you just get a bit of sandpaper, sand that down in case anyone gets to make it flush. Look at that. What a straight edge. How can we measure if it's straight? Let's see if this builder's done his job. Yeah, straight edge. Beautiful. Table cutter things. You can make a makeshift thing like this. But be careful because it will I pinch. surprise myself sometimes. Look at that. Four equally sized measured legs. Right, now the question you're all asking me is, how am I going to get those legs to stay on that? And the answer is, I honestly don't know at this right. stage. I've come up with an idea. You might have thought that was simple, but to me, you know, a little bit slow in that. Now I've figured it out. I use... The rest of the palette how obvious i'm teaching you how to make a table palette use the rest of the right, palette this bit i'll need a claw hammer so i need to knock out all those old nails Come on. just like that make sure you don't leave that line around that's a rusty nail You'll have to go get a tetanus jack. So the first part I've pinned in with some nails. And now I'm going to screw in the bottom part. It's half in the top palette, half in the bottom palette. And yeah, it w when I pulled it off, it wasn't the right length, but I'll cut that off afterwards. It doesn't have to be pretty. It gets the job As you done. can see, I'm going on the diagers. It's going straight down into that block there. I didn't want to put it too low in case it's split. That's as low as I want it to go. And I'll just give that a bit of a... You know how it is. Oh, oh. I didn't go in the full way, so I bent it over. Um, and that's just, just how it so is. I've got the top and the bottom on now. What I've done is I've give this a little bit of, if you can see here, half and half and the top and the bottom. That was just the initial support to get it in place. You know, remember the one with the wonky nail? And now I'm gonna go around and do the same to the top. Um, I'm gonna give it two though, just so it looks a little bit nicer. And then I'll finish it off with one along the bottom there, either top sides. As you can see, I got two around the top. Um, just one around the bottom. I might make that look a little bit prettier later on. But now, because I didn't measure them out, I'll just saw them off. Well, saw them off. Sun's gone down. As you can see, it's a job of good in. Now, I ran out of wood, so I just had to cut a bit, put it there. But that's not the point. The point is, it's finished. Do you look at that? Fits like a glove. I even got this little wedged in there so it doesn't fall off. That is perfect. So, did I think it would take me five minutes? Yeah, did it take longer? Of course, look, the sun's nearly gone down. Now, that's not the point. The point is I got in the garden, I put a pallet together with a couple of fence posts, bish bash bosh, jobs are good and now I'll be able to eat pizza in the summer with the tomatoes that I grow from my garden. Don't forget to subscribe.